15 point, that's it. That's uh, Newtons per, me uh, no, volts per meter. Volts per meter or Newtons per coulomb. That's the units, uh, that's the units of electric field. So as a matter of fact, even though C was the last part that we did, C comes before B and D, logically. Uh, in the order of events that take place. What happens is when you bring in the magnetic field, it creates an electric field inside of the coil and the electric field pushes the electrons so that the electrons start moving and it creates a current. So it's the electric field that's creating the current and it's the current that's creating the B field to fight against the original B. So the order of events is first C is taking place, then the C is causing B, and then the current is causing the magnetic field. You see, that's the order of what's happening. <clears throat> oh, by the way, let me just mention something. I've noticed through, uh, as I've done problems like this, that usually, <clears throat> actually 100% um, uh, of the time, when you get a positive current, when you go through the lenses law and you keep track of your minuses and stuff, you know how we did like here? You end up with a positive current. A positive current is equivalent to saying counterclockwise. Okay? So the reason why is because a counterclockwise current creates a magnetic field that's what? Out of the board. And out of the board is by convention positive always. So that's a kind of an easy way you can remember when you get positive current it's uh, remember that that's like a saying it's counterclockwise. <clears throat>